Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to set up JavaFX environment in VS Code. Let's get started. I have noted down all the steps right here in front of you in this notepad. We will follow each step, but there are two most important requirements. First, your VS Code must be updated to version 1.49. And the second one, we need to install the Open JDK or you have a latest JDK version. Then only you can run the JavaFX in the Visual Studio Code. So we will start from the basic with the step one. So first step is we have to check that VS Code is on latest version or not. If not, we have to update. Open VS Code, go to the help menu, then click on this about. Then you will see the information about the version you have. If you don't have the 1.49, then you have to go for uh, the update. Click here on the check for updates and you will see a different kind of window there. You will see a button for the update. Just click on that button and update your visual studio code that's it in a step two we have to download and install the javafx extension inside the vs code this is very simple go here on the left hand side this uh, gear icon just click on it and this uh, pop window will appear and uh, then select the extensions and uh, in the search box you have to simply type the javafx once you click you will get a two top results uh, javafx support click on it and on the right hand side you will see the install button in my case i have already installed the uh, javafx support plugin that's why it is showing that this is installed in your case you will get a green button of the installation just click on it and install it after that there's a another important uh, plugin which is uh, available this is fxml view and uh, you can also install it this will help you when you are working on your javafx application and uh, you can easily view your fxml that's it uh, just close everything now we can proceed to the next step in the step 3 we have to download and install the latest JDK 11 so I'm going to install the open JDK go to the view and then uh, click on this uh, command palette and you will see the search box here you have to type Java configuration runtime when you type in Java configuration runtime runtime and uh, when you click on it this uh, tab will appear and inside this you will see Java development kit section under this section you will see the configuration items and there are four items and uh, because Visual Studio Code trying to detect the Java underscore home, JDK underscore home, whatever you have set up. In your cases you have a uh, uh, Oracle JDK but if this is on a uh, latest one then this will work and uh, if uh, you guys have a Java 8 then this will not work that's why we are changing it. Now we have to download the JDK 11 select the second item. Uh, the radio button and click on this uh, big blue button to download the uh, installer file for the JDK and once you click you will see this pop box click open and uh, very soon you will be redirected to the uh, Chrome browser and then this uh, downloading will start on your system on the left hand side uh, once this is uh, downloaded just click on it to launch it and very soon you will see this uh, Windows installer uh, uh, message and uh, then you will see a uh, final box of the installation windows click on next click next and finally click on this install button here we go the installation is started and uh, open JDK files uh, has been uh, downloaded and uh, extracting on your system inside the C drive that's it and this is done now we have to find the location you will get the uh, installation location inside the program files and the uh, folder is adopt open JDK now you have to go inside that and copy the path up to JDK folder now go to the, this PC do the right click select properties and uh, go here on the advanced settings and go here in the environment variables and this uh, window will appear under the system variable section you have to uh, click on this Java underscore home in your case you have a, a different uh, variable value maybe this is pointing to the oracle jdk but we have to change it we have to replace it with the location of the open jdk folder that's it everything is done click ok close everything right now so we have set up our java underscore home variable and the value is the latest open jdk or the jdk 11 folder now we have to restart the visual studio code once now i'm going to launch it again after launching we will verify the 
Java underscore home path has been detected by uh, Visual Studio Code or not. So this is loaded. Now go to the view menu item, click on the command palette and the very first option, the recent uh, item you visited will appear here. Click on it and you will see at point number uh, three. Uh, this has been detected under Java underscore home environment variable by the Visual Studio Code. That means your setup is on right track. So we have done with the step three. So JDK is downloaded and installed and uh, the runtime environment is set up inside the VS Code. Now the fourth is the most important step that we have to complete. So we need JavaFX SDK setup inside the VS Code to run our JavaFX program or any other JavaFX application. To do that, first we have to download this from the uh, trusted website and then we have to set up. So guys, this is most important. Please don't miss this step and look, watch it carefully. Okay, open your browser, just type the download open JavaFX SDK, then you will see some self following results so right here uh, click on this JavaFX glue on open in a new tab and then you will see this uh, page this is a trusted source of uh, JavaFX Windows SDK you can download it from this place uh, we are going to download a very latest version uh, for the Windows platform and uh, click on this uh, green button to start downloading Okay, very soon our uh, downloading will start on the left hand side you can see the size is 40 MB only and this will not take much time once this is downloaded we will extract it and then we will use the path to set up the VS code okay so this is the location uh, once you extract it you will get a uh, such a folder like uh, JavaFX hyphen SDK hyphen 11.0.2 and uh, when we check inside this you will get these three folders bin and live and legal okay now we have to follow a few more steps I will show you now uh, to set up the JavaFX uh, project we have to simply create a Java project then we will configure it to JavaFX now go to the view menu item click on command palette and just type create Java project okay click on the no build tool and uh, this will ask you for the uh, parent folder in which you want to create your all JavaFX project so create a separate folder if you want okay I have just selected one and right now this is asking to give a name to your project so I'm giving a very different name uh, my JavaFX project and just press enter to set up your project inside VS Code. A new window will appear and your project is set up. Just expand it. Okay, right here you can see uh, there are several uh, three items and then you will see a simple Java file inside this project. Okay guys, so come on the down side and just expand all these trees. Once you expand all these trees, all extensions will be activated. Along with, there is a, another extension that is detecting all Java projects. So one tree menu item will appear right at the same location. So I'm waiting for that. Now you can see that new item Java projects appeared. At this place, you can see uh, the JRE associated with the project is appearing which is JDK 11.0 and there is an option to attach a reference libraries. This means to say you have to reference the JavaFX libraries. So just go to the download location where you have extracted the JavaFX SDK. Go inside the folder and uh, just go inside the lib and you will see all these jars available. We have to select all these jars and click on this one. Once you do that, all JARS reference will be added in your project. And in the background, some activity will happen and you will see in the main project application, there's a new uh, tree item appeared, which is a VS code dot VS code. So once you expand it, you will find a settings dot JSON file. Inside you can see all the Java fi JAR files uh, of the JavaFX, which we are referencing. Okay, that's it. Now, 
to test it our setup is properly done or not we need a syntax of JavaFX application so you can just visit any website or Oracle website so you will get some a sample uh, JavaFX uh, application program so I have noted down here one of the programs so I will copy and uh, then paste it inside this app.java to test it okay delete previous uh, code and uh, overwrite it and just change the file name this is now app.java and now you can see uh, there are several imports and uh, we are using uh, different classes of the Java effects and uh, right here we are not getting any error that means our setup is almost working for the final test we need to run this program and then we will see our stages appearing or not or we are getting any runtime error so here we go just click on this run button and very soon you will see a terminal will open in front of you and uh, you will see some progress and some activities happening in this terminal okay now you guys will get one error JavaFX runtime components are missing and are required to run this application now I will show you the quick fix how to do it okay guys to fix this one we have to go to the run menu item just uh, then go to the open configurations menu item click on it And very soon a new file will open which is launch.json now we have to do some edit inside this file and uh, just look the description box and you will see vmargs uh, argument and uh, its value so we have to update this thing inside the launch.json file so go to the uh, request parameter then uh, make a space for the new entry and uh, paste it and make sure do not give any line change now at line number seven there is no line change vm arcs and the corresponding value is this one more thing that we need to change we need to change the lib location this is a random lib location that we mentioned and uh, now we have a different location so we have to give the path of that location so just go to the downloaded location of a JavaFX SDK, go inside the lib, copy the path, come here and replace the path with the new one. But this will not take the backslash, we have to change to the forward slash. So just change it. Once you complete it, rest of the error will disappear. And just save this file okay guys everything is fine now we are good to go to launch our JavaFX application first time in VS code so are you ready to run your first application okay now go to this uh, icon click on it to run your application and very soon you will see some activity will start in the terminal in few seconds you will see your application is running and we got this stage on the button click there is a action handling event is going on and we are getting the hello world you can see at line number 19 in the code so guys this is the way you can run your JavaFX application or you can set up your JavaFX environment in Visual Studio Code. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. And guys please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now thanks for watching. Cool IT help.